Fala galera, beleza? Aqui quem fala é Arte, seja bem-vindos a mais um vídeo aqui no canal. E no vídeo de hoje são os melhores momentos dos jogos profissionais de CS. Eu sei que você curte, mas 70% das pessoas que assistem os vídeos aqui no canal todos os dias não são inscritos. É isso mesmo. Então, não se esquece, se inscreve aqui no canal, deixa o like. E lembrando que dá muito trabalho trazer todos os dias os melhores momentos, tudo mastigadinho pra você assistir. É bom, né? Então, deixa de enrolação, vamos ao que interessa, são os melhores momentos. Fui! In my personal opinion, I'd say he's the best player in the server right now. He is insane. It's just whether he gets going. Gwen C. Shift walking contact towards B. Not gonna come through. Lucky gonna get out in front of it. Lucky gonna find the first. Prinzen gonna fall and already now exit in a little bit of trouble in towards first. Orange, this is scrappy. But upon high, Decker will see it off. Upgrades to the Julies and now they can get a bomb plant down. But a retake and a rotate is coming quick. It's coming quick, and it's actually all three down banana as well for MIBR. And it's actually a tap through the smoke, a spam through the smoke there from Insani that will deal with Norvi. So, somehow out of nowhere, it's recovered into this 2v3, but they're all getting whittled down. Lovely one double. One area and one HE all remain. And I'll we'll use some of that now. One piece each, and that's when Aurora choose to push. Ooh, Biranazan, that's a nice hold. And thankfully, Insani can play off the back of him. So, despite the lack of that utility, the firepower works out okay. Not bad. Still, more needs to be done here. Two versus three for Aurora. Then, with the man of disadvantage, how do they then claim this one back in their favour? It's weird they're playing so far away from each other. Echo drop on a smoke. He's trying to do things on his own here. Going to pick up the bomb. He has faded out a lot of the rotations, but safe has seen one. Nade will come deep. Deco in a bit of trouble now. He actually really doesn't have too much to go, and he drops the bomb. Yeah. yeah. Not much you can do about that. Seltzer's got a freebie, but he knows Fine. that saving is the only option. He thinks so late in the way they did. Might be our one kill was enough. Through the flames, they the tech nine. Surely dead. Yeah, lackey down. Bit of a weird call there, but I think they're going to come through from Norvi. Six rounds for more. That was a bit weird from Vanzan as well. I'm not entirely sure what his thought process there was re-picking Banana with, what, five bullets left? Had no chance to fall back either. Exit will retake out that position, though, and that's a nice 2k. Unfortunately, couldn't transfer quick enough to deal with, <laughs> to deal with the second player quickly to save his teammate, but it doesn't matter. Decker managed to get a kill before he went down and drops holding for the advance of Celta coming out of that apartment smoke. Down to 28, but he's done his job. He's got his kill and he's got out of there. Pretty decent, but in Sunny's aggression toward the apartments will remove him unceremoniously. So there is a chance for the answer back. Celta kind of flies under the radar, Celta, on this Aurora roster, considering we know how good Norby and Kenzie are. I lie at those two have been some of the best in tier 2 online this year. But Delta is it important in his roles too. We'll get taken down in this round, unfortunately. But Insani and Safe playing off the back of each other, with each other. Pretty much on top of each other. Oh. Let's deal with this. Playing towards apps. One route playing towards site and a long player being rotated over. And Bio and Enazan, the guy that we called at one time and time again. And that's what he can do. Two oh. to his name as well as Deco meets the same fate. Oh. Make that three bodies all six feet under. Just Celta left alone. And Bio and Enazan with a masterclass of a round. And Sani somehow still alive, but only momentarily as Celta will drop him. But surely no chance in this round. 1v3. No bomb to speak of. Down he goes. What a round. Went for Aurora. We start to say this is just too far gone. 9 to 2 is not a bad push, to be perfectly honest. That might be all fine. 10, it could be done. Safe for a shot. Deco gets plucked out of the sky like duck hunting. So nice to see Safe on form. And Sunny. Oh, that's safe. Needs a good reaction for that. But Safe Ooh. goes in for more and almost hits the immediate fadeaway dig as well. Drop in a great position toward Pit. Two spray downs. Safe helps out for another as well. Oh my word. Safe 13 to 5. Burns down 15 to 6. Drop 8 to 3. Exit 9 to 4. Everyone is dealing with Aurora to absolute perfection. Norby ends the half and only. Go, go, go. CS go fast. Let's roll.
had his two flashes and his kit bought up and hadn't moved off that position yet. Obviously, you don't need to rush necessarily if you're not going to go for an opening pick. But still, at least Norvi will finally double his kill tally. Up to two. Nice pick. Deco, though, has already been gooshed. Oh, what a shot that is, though. Deco will even get a second, too. He's a bit of a mastermind on these pistols. Even if he has been gooshed, playing that headshot angle means that he is fine. And he'll take two really, really nicely. Bomb pot will be big for MIBR, and they're going to try to find it. Will Aurora try and punish them? I think they're going to just about seal it. Yes, they will. Doesn't matter. We'll back out of it and play site. But yeah, now time really is quite a big issue. Surely it's going to be A. They are gripping up toward the top of mid right now. You'd think Aurora have a good idea of what's coming here. They've only got two players in position yet, though. They haven't had a third player rotate over yet. So they have to have these site players deliver. But not if that happens. Goodness me, Vernzan. That is ridiculous. Deco absolutely obliterated. Celta in pit. Can't get two. Wow. What a burst from the Brazilians. Just like that, Norvi, Kenzie, call to save. That position today. Kenzie, Deco as well, both got opportunities to find fights here, but they are being held for lines up two. Made that three for Deco. Wow. Okay. Well, just when you start to doubt them a little bit, this is the man who can step up of all the people. Deco is the one you can rely upon time and time again. And with a rifle too. He's had his two big rounds in this game with a pistol and a rifle, pretty much. Mm. Hasn't barely pulled that AWP out. Maybe he doesn't need to. Need some heroics from Manzan and Exit. You are going to be entering here into a banana. They are giving it a look. Manzan has the bomb on his back. 30 seconds. Kenzie does need to be careful. He's had a slow game, as with Norway. Make sure they don't give up a pick for free. They are playing it very defensively, so they could be swung on here. Do need to be careful, but that's going to be a nice lineup. Good damage done. Norby finds his, and Kenzie will find his two. Oh, so maybe, maybe because of that, maybe CT rounds are a little bit stronger, of course. We'll see. It's still just as hard to retake, but we shall see in the future. Burnzan, not long for this world than that on the following round, though. HE has come flying down and into that tree position when two nades are in toward there, and you're standing there, you're dead. Yeah, and he's actually struggled to have that much impact. He's, he had uh, 16 kills at the half, so... And he got he's one, one entry, then. that's it. Yeah. yeah. It's not exactly been a flourishing performance since then. Wacky, jiggling on the corner. Still, with the players left alive, it's by no means out of the realms of possibility. Both exit and safe have been incredible at times, and we know in Sani what he has in the locker. He actually just hasn't been able to show it all that much just yet. Shy of 45 seconds. They want to end towards B, and there's three players here to meet them. Oh, the timing on the peak from Norby. He tries to catch the mid-execute. Fair enough, I really like that idea. It may look silly to peak dry like that, but that's the unexpected factor of it. Well, they're in the midst of throwing grenades. Deco is here too. Good hold. Drop goes down. Excellent second headshot. Lackey finds Insani. All right. We have life in Aurora. MIBR. 35 seconds. MIBR have got to make a decision. It's surely going towards B. You can only see they've got some deep top and out of control. The OPG are going to go the way of safe. Lackey to four. They're starting to convulge over towards the A side. There's still three bodies here in this position be tough to break into. They are walking into this little bit of a stack, even though they've got the man advantage. But Bjornsson, oh my god! That is absolutely disgusting. <laughs> He's back. He is back. Yes, there's still money for Aurora, but they still are in a troublesome period. Celta will find one. What about starts their line? Oh, and Sani is safe. Working together top mid to recover it into a 3v3. And Sunny will get his one. It's, it's been actually kind of crazy today, right? Oh, hang on a second. I'll, I'll just see if Safe can deal with this one or just back away. So it looks like he's backing away. But of course now Aurora know that Safe has position in CT spawn, which is a lot of control. Which has to worry them. As you can look at the minimap right now, they are kind of spread out everywhere. But yeah, it's kind of crazy today. And Stanley has been relatively quiet, right, when it comes to, like, his overall numbers. But he hits really important kills at important times. And his other teammates are delivering the higher numbers. We call on Stanley as one of the star players, star youngsters. Well, he hasn't really needed to do it so far. It's 
Two versus three retake ensues as Norvi and Lackey, the IGL and the Rifler, to try and claw this one back in Aurora's favor to keep them alive in the map. Damn, map pick, of course, safe. Eats through a grenade, doesn't even flinch. Spray coming through, gonna break the nade. The smoke himself, one behind it. Lackey will fall. All that's left is Norvi in a 1v3, and he gets deleted. Wow. Playing on their mind, for example. But uh, obviously, it's the, been in the semis for a while and had their game postponed and rescheduled, of course, due to other commitments. So we th thought about it for a while, but Aurora aren't thinking too long about this pistol. They've gone straight through mid and they're behind MIBR, but they realize the situation and they've doubled back and have destroyed the double <laughs> flank. And I say double flank, it's actually a triple flank, but Deco can't afford to go there anymore. Only one map needed to get towards the buy, being so close to kickstarting oh, things so well and Sunny. I'm going to try and maybe use this a little bit of a one-way that we've already seen successful so far for other teams in this qualifier. And Kenzie works it out. He finds his one-for-one. One. Good trade from Burns and Norby's still here, though. Making a lot of noise in that canal area. 35 seconds. We might be trying to go. Oh, let's say going toward B. But at least they find Burns and now Norby's under a lot of pressure. Quick trade. 2v2. Do they expect Lackey here as well? They do not. Another trade. 1v1. Gecko coming in from Cave. Another position that's unexpected. They just keep coming from Cave. Minute to go. And no presence really shown at all by MIBR until now. And the utility comes flying in. And Gecko realizes he probably needs to hop away. And in comes a fast moving MAC 10. AK gone. Now in the hands of Insani. Kenzie under pressure. Here's so many players coming his way. How many can he get? Oh, it's only one and a half. Drop trades it. 4v3. Bomb site pretty open. Exit. Finding Celta. That should be the round, surely. All that remains is Lackey and Norvi with nothing. Deco did it for a bit. Yeah, true. I mean, as you can see, Norvi on the player count there. It's, it's gone back to his normal hairstyle. It's not uh, blue anymore. And Sunny, though, catching Lackey in mid. That's one of the pistols already removed. Where are the three rifles? That's the question for MIBR. Can they find the answer? Benzan up close. Oh, Celta. Oh, my goodness. He uses the little table on the right. And Celta gets completely off guard. That smoke with a tiny gap on the corner of it. That has to be frustrating for Celta. This is another round for Aurora. They just have no say in. Yeah. The one rifle that was in the fight has back turned. Celta falls. And he's had a really rough start to the map. 0-6 so far for him. It's not great. It's not pretty at all. Pain. That being said, yeah, pain is uh, spot on, mate. Honestly. <laughs> It's okay. It's, been dire. it's okay. Nine pandas won their LAN event. They did. Seized his back, ladies and gents. <laughs> He's going to win the major. Let's go. I believe that's Seized's first LAN tournament victory since uh, 2016. 2016. So, yeah. Actually unreal. And uh, to steal a tweet from one of my colleagues, um, that's Seized. He's still being set up. And he's taking a lot of damage already. Deco in this orb has to pull off something magical. He smoked out from his default angle. Bash in the corner. Kenzie avoids. Still surely going to be checked into the second. And he is. Exit swings and finds a look for more. But Norby lands back on his own. Instantly traded. Wow. And the numbers favor MIBR as the bomb goes down. A 2v3 retake. Not in favor of Aurora in terms of the numbers. Celta and Lackey need something magical. Celta yet to frag as we said. Lackey not doing too much better on just three. Tough position to be in. One on towards our default plant. Lackey's got around the back here. He actually might get an opportunity. Buren has un uh, turned. He will fall. Wow. Sunny falls. So does Celta. Tap on towards the bomb. Not a stick. Safe spin as well. Oh, oh safe. Played wow. it to perfection. Fair play, man. And it doesn't matter that he doesn't get the kill. MIBR win the round. James Bond himself, unfortunately, needs to finally get some fright. Oh. Because this is where things get dire. He has been heard in the smoke. But we're going to kill. Make that two. No, not even. It's actually a team kill. I mean, at least it's something. At least it's something. But Lackey's still on the site doing good work. Okay. Norvi, I'm afraid, my friend, you have to win this. You've picked up a kit on your rotation. You want a good shot at this. Bomb's only just gone down. Safe and Insani, both one-shot headshot with an M4 away. But their positioning is quite good. Norvi's looking for both angles. Sees one, sees both. Now he knows the information. Does he have the stones to stick the defuse instead with this defuse kit? Insani, 
not showing himself as of yet, but they both know where each other are. It's going to be a fake. Flash off the corner and Sandy's going for this peak, but will he even commit to it properly? Here's Norby running around. There's no need to yet. It's another fake from Norby. Why aren't you sticking the defuse, brothers? What's going on? Have faith in yourself. And Sandy's faked it out again. Another <laughs> 1v1-1 for oh MIP. They're playing some elite level counter strike. You believe in them? You can go check out at... That's one just bet boom. Use the code Dutch. He's one. He's pushed through water. Hang on. Lackey gets one. Insta traded. Yeah, he was so far through there. I was having a look on the mini map as, as he advanced and just hadn't been seen yet. Deco in mid versus Insani. That smoke's going to be pretty nicely positioned and timinged. Insani at bay for now. Here to go. Not really a huge amount of control for MIBR. Oh, that mid push up for Insani. That's a little cubby is. One that's a, a bit of a nuisance for the CTs, of course. Don't necessarily want to expend any utility on it. But it's one where a T can fully hide behind. Deco needs to peek on a timing. He will peek on a timing. He'll get the information. I believe they're on two. So that's good intel for Aurora. Kenzie will now rotate a around, but... A split toward A could be coming pretty quickly. Kenzie will be flashed off. Deco needs at least one here. He gets zero. Drop takes him down. Seltzer with the org. He's been Ooh. struggling all game. An exit will destroy him. Kenzie can't get the trade. There are too many men to fight. This is at least a 10 2, and it could Confidence even going be. going into map 2, but it might be out with this T side start on Anubis. We know how powerful that is. Deco needs to step up now. Close range shotgun orping. He hits some collateral damage. And then Sani once again gets a team kill, but he gets two more straight after. Who cares? He's just killing everyone. And a third <laughs> through the smoke on Seltzer. What on earth is going on? Like he's pushed the own smoke. And now it's suddenly it's a one versus one. Safe has to react quickly, but Lackey makes it happen. Wasn't enough to at least get an 11 1. And now Aurora need this pistol. Utility in play. Smoke, couple of flashes. Celta will be popped in. A look at this stack on the site from my BR. Three players. Thankfully, at least Celta is doing a lot of damage. A kill, an exit down to one HP. And right now, he's just selling the fake. Yeah, I gotta say, he's not doing a bad job of it. What you'll find is that that B site is open. Celta going to find safe. Bomb will go down, planted over towards the other site. Which has, of course, been a quick realization. Deco going to double back. 3v4. Exit one point of HP, more or less. 2v4 in this situation. I don't really think they have a chance. There's a world in which you're in Sunny, you might even save your armor. The rounds on Aurora going to find their first pistol in the second half. Good to see. And some kills to come with it as well for Lackey. Decent clutch to close out that second half. Starting well in towards... To go to the first half. Starting well in towards the second. Great to see. And Deco can clean up a couple of scalps. Yes, he will. Exit and drop four. Surely these steps are her. But the bomb isn't committed. Main's out towards main. But he's going to be picked up here by Deco. And transferred in the similar direction. Norby spams. Rins and falls. Important one for Norby. Start of the game. Vernzan is down. And really, the only port of call now on the B site. Actually, I tell a lie. There's going to be a rotation coming in. So, exit will be here too with a nice long range org. Norby trying to use a gap above the smoke and drop goes searching for a kill in return. Lackey's Mac 10 comfortably takes him. Now, exit needs a ridiculous hold. The backpack of one, the head of a second, but Lackey's found another kill. And he's just playing with this angle back and forth. Deco sprays through the smoke, sees the dot on the minimap, and Safe has to get out of there. He's going to stick around a little while longer. I'm kind of surprised at that. We're really looking to do some damage, knowing that drop now behind the site on B. 30 seconds to go. Aurora looking like they're ready to go. Thankfully, Burnzan is in position as well. Four players about to come through this cave area. Can they peek it together? Burnzan with a nice opening, but drop goes down with nothing. Thankfully, Insani's still here, and Burnzan finds another. USB has to be pulled out. Dances around. Celta takes him down, but Insani still steps up until Celta finally finds him. 12 seconds. Fake on the bomb. That's surprising. Double checking that smoke to make sure he's not being leapt upon, I guess. But he's faking it again. Now he'll be leapt upon. Free kill. Four seconds. He's faking it again. He's going straight up for the duel. And he's just timed himself out of the round. Wow. Celta thinking that... Famas upgraded. Free smoke. This is brilliant. 
Drops finding some great things dropped on the floor and Insani auto shotgun. Do me proud, my king. Do me proud. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh yes. He's just like me for real. Get some more. <laughs> Unfortunately, the P250 of Deco will see him off, but he's done his job. Two versus four. Surely, surely no chance now. Deco and Celta, this is going to be a very tough one to claw in their favor, especially considering only Fiora and Enazan has taken any damage. Yeah. I had two bites at the cherry of the bite. Two timeouts used to decide exactly what they wanted to do. A half buy after winning was considered. Went for the full investment and XM over and over. Instead, as well as M4 over MP9. Working them out in a 4v2. They need to make sure they secure it now. 20 seconds. Aurora know the economic situation. They know there was only a shotgun in play. And Deco's come all the way behind the play here. I've actually weirdly locked MRBR out of the situation. But BR Enazan, what an insane frag that is. That is so ridiculously impactful. Deco trying to plant safe from Cave. But he's being pressured ever which way. Drops behind. Oh, In it, it comes. <laughs> Brilliantly done. He may sacrifice safe. That but who can? Mid this game, we said we wanted him to step up numbers wise. Even if he didn't need to necessarily in this game so far. But he's doing so in this one. Finds himself a nice kill, and Norvi is waiting to swing him. There's teammate support, but he gets tagged by that teammate. That gives Insani a freebie. Safe will at least get his one for one. Sure, he's destroyed by Celta, but one for one is enough. Smoke down. The bomb is dropped in mid. MIBR have everything locked in here. Surely. Yeah. Orp on Kenzie is, I guess, a silver lining in this situation, but it doesn't feel like one by any means. Surprise, not prioritizing the bomb plant right now. Putting time pressure on towards MRBR would help. No, they have to swing in towards mid. What are they doing? What are they doing? It's Sunny will find Celta. Kenzie answers back with the AWP, but he might not clear the close right hand side. Why didn't they? Here it is again. It is done. Drop number two out of two. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Exit will see it off. 13 to 6. E aí, gostou dos melhores momentos de hoje? Não se esquece, as estatísticas estão aqui para você analisar. Pausa o vídeo caso você queira ver e acompanhar tudo certinho. Sua inscrição e seu like aqui embaixo é muito importante para a evolução do canal. Te vejo no próximo vídeo. Fui!